Hey friends, today we are talking about the books that I read in the month of August and I don't have anyone in my real life to share the books that I've read, which probably is a sign that I should not talk to a camera and get out in the real world and meet people, but how do you meet people these days? Anyways, for the month of August, I read six books, three fiction, three nonfiction, and I'm gonna share them with you because there are some gems and some that were really hyped, but I just didn't quite like, so let's get started. Starting with Final Spin by Jocko Willink. So this book is written by the highly accomplished, well-known Navy SEAL Jocko Willink, and this is a fiction story about a young man named Johnny who is in a situation where he's not quite happy where his life is going. I believe he is in his 20s and he's at a dead-end job. He is supporting his mom who has alcohol abuse issues along with his younger brother who is just absolutely likable. And he is faced with a situation where he has to come up with a lot of money all at once. Otherwise, the life that he's providing for his family is going to suffer. So he decides to take it upon himself, him and his best friend, Goat. They form a plan to get a large sum of money. And of course, things do not go as planned. And it is pretty much a action thriller. But the one thing that is unique about this book is that it is a very short read. The author does a very interesting job of not using overly flowery language. He is very straight to the point. You only read what you need to know, nothing more. But the story is still very gripping. It is a fast paced thriller. So as you're going through each chapter, you just want more and more. And you still form a connection to the characters. If you're someone that has a tough time getting through books, maybe you don't ever finish them. This is one that I think would be very easy to read, easy to finish, and I think it was enjoyable. So for me, I give this a five out of five. Next book is nonfiction, and it is Daily Rituals by Mason Curry. I don't know if anyone else has this type of fascination, but I am so interested with what people do in their free time. What time do you wake up for work? What do you do before work? What do you do when you come home to unwind? I think this is something that I typically will ask people that I get close to because I am so fascinated with how people spend their free time. And this book is all about how people such as, you know, famous writers, philosophers, artists, how they would spend their time. And this book has a collection of over a hundred different people that are well known such as Beethoven, Mozart, Ben Franklin, Jane Austen. So very interesting. And what I like about this book is that it's not a book that you read in just one sitting. It's something that you can just pick up and read, you know, a couple pages here and there. And most of the routines aren't, you know, super long, you know, maybe a page or two are dedicated to the different figures. And I will say the routines are just absolutely fascinating. You have people that were in the 1800s, you have people in more modern times. It's so interesting to see how people lived and I highly recommend this if you just want a fun little book that isn't serious. You just want to pick it up every now and then. Mason Carey's Daily Rituals. Very enjoyable read. All right, our next fiction book is All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. I discovered Colleen Hoover earlier this year and I read her famous book, It Ends With Us, and I am so excited to read It Starts With Us, which is the sequel that comes out next month. And I have to say, I really did not enjoy this one and let me tell you why. This book is pretty tough to read because the main characters, while they are madly in love and the way that they get together is very interesting, they also have issues in their marriage. They deal with miscarriage, infidelity, infertility, you know, there are just traumatic things that happen along the way. And essentially, as things start to unfold and distance starts to grow between them, they have to decide what they're going to do. Are they going to stay together? Are they going to change things up? How are they going to overcome all of these crazy things that are happening in their relationship? And one thing that is nice about this book is that it has alternating timelines. So you'll read a chapter in the present and then you'll read a chapter in the past. But I just didn't really enjoy it. And it, I think it's mainly because I could not relate to the storyline. I mean, miscarriage, infidelity, infertility, those are things that are very traumatic for people to face. And as someone who just, you know, I haven't experienced those things and I'm not really someone that wants to have children, I just 
couldn't really get into it because each chapter was pretty heavy. But on the other hand, I think it was nice to read a story like this because it gave me a lot of empathy for people that are going through that and there are so many people that are dealing with those challenges. While I don't necessarily see myself picking this book back up again, I don't regret reading it because it did give me a new perspective. So overall, I give this a three out of five. I know that there are people out there that will love this book. So I think if you are someone that's interested in those topics or you have a special connection with those topics, this is definitely a well-written book. Book number four, this is nonfiction and it is Keep Going by Austin Kleon. I absolutely adore Austin Kleon. I have his book, Steal Like an Artist and Show Your Work. His books provide such an immersive experience. So I highly recommend you check them out if you haven't. I am an artist and I sell my artwork on my website along with Etsy and let me tell you guys, it can be so exhausting when you are selling artwork because you constantly need to create new products, you need to put yourself out there and I am just someone that tends to get into my head a little bit. Any little stress that I experience kind of pushes me away from things that I enjoy. So this book is really nice because it offers, you know, different things that you can do to regain some of that creativity. I have a video on my channel where I created art every day for seven days because I was in such a creative block and I was kind of running away from creating art instead of just diving into it. So this book was really helpful. I did one of his suggestions, which is making gifts. And I ended up making a really cool mug for my friend Allie. And that was an experience that filled me with so much inspiration and happiness because I was creating new art for someone and it reminded me about what art is about. We make art for other people. So I highly recommend this book if you just feel yourself in a little bit of a creative rut. It's a short read, it's a fun read, and you won't regret it. All right, we are at our second to last book, and this is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. It is an oral history of this fictional band, and the way it's written, it, you have so many different people offering their insights, their perspectives. So when I read it, I just read it as if they were filming a documentary and asking all these different people their thoughts and opinions on different events throughout the band's history. It takes place in the late 60s and 70s and it follows Daisy Jones and the Six. So Daisy Jones is this musician who, you know, comes from a life of privilege. Her parents are very wealthy and she wants to make a name for herself. She's really into music and she's a young girl. She is 15, 16 years old, going into clubs, doing drugs, meeting all of these rock stars, but eventually she finds her way onto the music scene and she becomes pretty successful. So she ends up doing a song with another up and coming band, The Six, and the duo between Daisy Jones and The Six is you know so iconic people love them together so she ends up joining the band to do an album together and this book just goes through the different things that each bandmate is going through. I can't say that learning about rock and roll was ever something that I was interested in but after reading this book I did find it fascinating and you learn so much about all of the things people go through, they get taken advantage of, they get into heavy use of drugs, and then they are also experiencing things like having kids, getting married, and they're trying to balance that rock and roll lifestyle as well as being a parent. So very interesting, and I highly recommend. I give this book a four out of five. And now for our last book, which is my most favorite, Mindhunter, Inside the FBI Elite Serial Crime Unit by John Douglas and Mark Olshaker. So you may have watched the Netflix series Mindhunter, which is really awesome. If you enjoyed it, then I definitely recommend this book, which is what the series was based off. And it follows John Douglas, who is in the FBI. He develops criminal profiling and he works on some pretty intense cases like the Atlanta monster, the missing and murdered kids of Atlanta. He's interviewed Ed Kemper. He's has experience with the BTK killer, just all kinds of different serial killers, and it is absolutely fascinating. In this book, he talks about 
how he came up with criminal profiles for certain people and he also shared what some serial killers do to make themselves a little bit more approachable to make themselves seem a little bit more trusting and there's definitely a lot of manipulation involved a lot of these serial killers are very smart highly recommend there were moments where i would read this you know at night right before bed and i was feeling so paranoid and stressed i'm over here checking all the doors and windows but i definitely think it was worth the read and i highly recommend so that was mine hunter so i really hope you enjoyed the books that i shared for the month of august it is currently september 10th and i am already three books in. definitely will be sharing all of the reads of september at the end of this month i also have videos on my channel about how i balance my small business with working full time i have a video about getting my first bad etsy review i have a video about you know staying creative so there are definitely things out there that i think you might be interested in let me know what you think about these books and i hope to see you in the next video